What's happening, y'all? JR Raymond back again, coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center inside Waterford Lanes, where I'm sweating like a pig because I've been practicing for quite some time now, doing reviews and everything else. But now I want to talk to you about squeezing the bowling ball. Should you squeeze it? How much do you put finger pressure into it? How much pressure with your thumb do you put on it? And what's the proper way to squeeze the ball? Because clearly we have to squeeze it, right? Otherwise the ball is going to fall off our hand. We're going to talk about all these things here in a minute, so stay tuned. So here's the thing. So I'm going to throw a shot and I'm going to show you when I'm squeezing the ball, the ball, I have to decide when to let go of it. So if I'm squeezing, if I'm clawing and gripping it like this, I have to decide. And if I wait to let go until it's out in front of me, there's going to be a lot of loft and there's going to be a lot of inconsistency there because I don't know when that ball is actually going to come right off my hand. I have no idea when it's going to fall off my hand. So what we want to do is we want to figure out a way to squeeze the ball to where the ball lets go of you at the proper spot and it lets go of you at the same time every single shot rather than us having to determine it. So if I squeeze properly, I then can get the ball down nice and easy. And that ball goes directly into the lane. It comes off my thumb at the proper spot. And when I say the proper spot, I'm simply talking about once my thumb gets parallel. Now, the reason I say you have to squeeze a little bit is because if you don't squeeze some in some type of way, the ball's going to fall off your hand in the backswing. I mean, especially if your ball is fit properly, that's what's going to happen. You're going to get down here. The ball is going to be, your thumb's going to be parallel with the ground, and it's going to start to feel like it's falling off at this point. So that's why you still somewhat have to squeeze. So let's think of if I'm holding this here, right? If I'm squeezing this, if I get in front of you this way, most people you want to think of, you're squeezing like this, right? You're kind of, let me get rid of this thing so it stops turning on me. There we go. So now I can go this way. Here we go. Boom. Okay. So now most people think of they're squeezing like this. You know, they're squeezing inward. They're getting that knuckle up there. And then when they get to the bottom of the swing, they actually have to let go. They get to the bottom of the swing and then they have to release the thumb to get the ball to come off their hand. Now, the difference is, is if they do it here, now it's coming off at this part. If they wait till up here or if they wait till up here, it's in a different spot every single time. Now, how consistent can we be if we're doing that? not very consistent at all. So what we want to try to do is we want to try to figure out a way to squeeze the ball to where the momentum takes the ball off our hand once our thumb gets parallel and it just rolls off at the same point. So what we want to think about to start, you want to bend the nail backwards. I want you to think of bending that thumbnail to the back side of the hole. I want you to over exaggerate it because that is how you're going to have to train yourself to stay this way until the ball just falls off your hand. You're, a lot of the times you're going to feel like it just falls off your hand, but that's when you can increase pressure right here. On this part of your thumb, you can kind of press down a little bit, but once you get to this spot, all the momentum, your thumb gets parallel, it's going to come right off your hand, right at that spot. You don't have to do anything. It's just going to come right off your hand because your thumb gets parallel and you're not squeezing inward to where you're clawing it and holding onto it to where the ball can't come off, right? And then where you have to let go to come off, we're going to do that. So for that, what I did that second shot is just thinking of keeping my thumb straighter. Now I'm at a point now where I don't have to exaggerate it. I don't have to feel like I'm doing this uh, to do it. Now I can just kind of keep my thumb straight. And then I just play around with the amount of pressure that I put on the thumb. So I can get it to get here and then the ball just lets go of me and it's at the same point every single time. So think of doing that. Now with your fingers, it's a little bit different. For me, I like to feel like um, my fingers are almost like, let me get the ball here real quick actually. I like to feel like when I put my fingers in the ball here, I want to feel like my fingers are hitting the back sides of the hole. Like I have to force them back there. Now if I'm sitting normal in the ball, my fingers are just sitting flat more or less on the pads of my fingers and then I can press out a little bit. I can be in the ball and then just be where I can press outward with my fingers to where then I'm not pulling inward. If I'm pressing outward, I'm going to have the same pressure on my fingers every single time. Now if I need more rev rate, then I'm going to pull inward just a little bit and that's going to make the ball come off my hand just a fraction later and it's going to stay on my fingers a fraction longer and so that keeps my thumb out 
before my fingers, and then we'll create a little bit more rev rate, and that, in, that introduces a little bit longer of a yo-yo. So now it makes the, the rev rate a little bit faster. So it's the combination of not squeezing with my thumb, because if your ball fits you properly, let me get you back up here just a little bit here now. Just a fraction, there we go. So now, if your ball fits you properly, when you hold the ball down here like this, right, I should be able to wiggle it, and it's not gonna come off my hand until I wiggle it enough. Even now, I can't wiggle it enough. Now, if I come upward, now the ball falls right off my hand because what happens? My thumb gets parallel with the foul line or it gets parallel with the lane. So again, from the side, you can see if I'm holding it down here and my, my thumb is you know, straight down, it's not, I'm, I'm relaxing my hand, I can't get it to come off at all until I come up this way. Now my thumb gets parallel and it comes right off my hand. So that's what we're looking for. Those are the types of things, that's the feel you're looking for. So when somebody tells you that, you know, you need to let the ball let go of you, you don't let go of the ball, that's what they mean. You have to figure out the proper amount of squeeze inward with your thumb, not not knuckling, not bending the knuckle forward, not pulling in with your fingers per se, but the press of straight thumb, pressing the thumb inward like this to where it holds on to your swing all the way through until it gets parallel, then the amount of momentum you create throughout your approach pulls the ball off your hand naturally. You have to figure that out. So let's throw another shot here. Let me get you lined up. Now we can get it here. All right, now it'll follow me. All right, so good. So now we'll throw another shot. Again, I'll show you what it's like if I'm squeezing. Here's a shot squeezing. And honestly, that kind of hurts my hand. Now that puts an awful lot of pressure on the sides because when you squeeze like that, it now puffs out the side of your thumb and it's gonna put more pressure on the sides. That's not good. Now here's one where I am just trying to keep my thumb straight all the way through and I'm pressing the nails of my fingers to the outside of the ball, of the grips. Again, big difference with how that ball comes off my hand. Now it just floats right off there. So take this information, go and practice a little bit, try to figure out how to not squeeze so much. Don't claw at it, don't grip it. Think of just hold on to it, like practice at home, into a couch, into a pillow, something soft, not into your walls. Figure out how to swing it and just let the ball fall off your hand. Let the momentum take the ball off your hand and pay attention to where your thumb gets parallel. So that way you can figure out how much squeezing, pressing I should say, into that thumb hole you need to make. So I hope this helps. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video around because this is gonna help a lot of bowlers figure out how to squeeze the ball properly. This is one of those videos that was really popular back in the day. I demonstrated it before when I was at Turbo. Now I'm remaking it again while I'm at Bowler X here. So make sure to share this around. This is one of the most key videos you're gonna see when it comes to uh, figuring out how to squeeze a bowling ball properly. So share, like, comment below. Uh, and as, uh, as always, I appreciate everybody. Make sure to go over to 10pindoctors.com, sign up for the membership, support us over there. Um, but until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later. Take care.